we interact with rivers it's part of our sort of culture in this country after all we're surrounded by water um, from anglers to cyclists to basically anyone so we set a very basic uh, project which was for the student fraternity to go out and uh, attempt to photograph what they thought would be the positive um, or and negative aspects that they saw within the river environments of both the Avon and the Ammons. Some of the students, it may or may not have been the first time they've been down by the river or done for a walk, so you know, others are quite familiar with the layout and they've chosen locations um, you know, that they're familiar with. So I think they've, they've interacted well and, and hopefully they've learned some different areas of the river. You know, even the fact We've got the exhibition here, it's pinged in here so you can see what's by the riverside here, so I think that's a, a good positive thing. It's a really busy place, there's so many people from the local area come here, um, and I don't think they realise just exactly how much plastic and waste is getting caught up in the water in the stream. I think what would be really good if kind of schools got involved, maybe even just from like early primary, um, right up to high school, if kids came and maybe helped kind of clean up, maybe have a day litter picking, um, and took kind of pictures of the amount of litter they've collected just to show people exactly what's you know flowing through the local river. I take a photo called Doggy Paddle. It's a, of a, a small child and the dogs in the water swimming. Like every other river there's a lot of um, debris scattered around the river. Um, one of my shots was of um, a dipper, uh, a water bird and a polythene. And I was a bit annoyed because I wanted a nice pristine shot but that was what was there. So I shot literally what was there that evening, the dipper and the policy. In my personal opinion, the, the only way you can really get the communities to, is to actually get them involved. Now there's a beautiful river system within uh, uh, West Lothian and a lot of people just don't realise it's actually there. And we, you know, advertise by all means and get people out there. I think this is one of the examples that uh, the River Fisheries Trust is trying to, trying to do, um, or trying to implement by bringing um, the college into this and a college full of visual uh, communicators, uh, I believe that by documenting what's going on on the river and continued documentation of the changes that are taking place over time will help, help to provide an archive of work um, that over that specific time will show that there will be changes that are actually very positive for the benefit of the human interaction with the river in the future. The ideal river would be clean from the source to the sea, but um, uh, I don't believe that's ever going to happen. What I would like to see is more of the debris taken out of the river, people stopping throwing stuff in the river and basically cleaning it up because the more we can clean up the rivers, the more we're going to uh, entice the wildlife back. It's quite surprising, like, it's only my first year um, doing the NEC and it's like I've actually got to be part of an exhibition already. Um, it's like, that's brilliant. It's uh, made up. <laughs> it's really good.